Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps, and today we are going to be putting a couple of one inch standard bases onto the tieflings that we painted on Wednesday. I'll put that up here. So, previously on Midweek Paint, on our Wednesday video, we painted a couple of these tieflings for one of my D&D players and uh, today we're going to be doing the thermoset plastic pouring and setting. So there's the painted minis. The, they wanted me to use the one inch bases that they came with. Uh, so we're going to put those into the mold at the bottom of the mold and then um, these minis sometimes aren't packaged correctly or stored correctly or let to cool after the mold or whatever happens and these uh, two bases are kind of bent uh, so rather than doing the heat up the plastic and unbend them and risk the um, durability of the miniature we are instead going to pour in the one inch mold around the um, plastic that it comes with holding them at the angle so that they're standing up straight uh, so that means that we get to sit here for a minute, but it also means that you can uh, be a lot more accurate with uh, how straight they're standing. So you can see it's setting up there. That's always my favorite part of the thermoset plastic. It turns white from clear uh, as it sets up. We're in an, a time lapse here, but uh, the, I ended up not using the two um, purple rubber molds for the one inch base because they were created from a wood uh, slug that has a bevel and the plastic uh, slug or plastic base that they wanted me to use um, the player wanted me to have that official base in on the bottom didn't go all the way down because of that bevel couldn't sit in that so I had to use the, the white softer uh, rubber mold there to get it to work that way so uh, I also always never like to waste the plastic, so I always get, end up with these extra bases, which are great because then uh, if you just need to, you know, get something glued down so that it has a one-inch circle, you can have those ready to go. But there it is. We pull it out. It is looking good. Uh, so we'll we'll trim down a little bit, but it is actually looking like it is centered really well and really well balanced for the miniature and the plastic didn't wick up too high onto the paint so the the black the put the black on the base it shouldn't take too much uh, touch up on the actual mini which is nice uh, the one thing that I do always make sure is when I am pouring plastic onto these official bases they have lettering that is in how they're cast uh, I always put that lettering face up because it gives more types of surfaces for the thermoset plastic to grab onto. Uh, so you can see there with the softer mold it really just kind of pops right in for that one. So I've got the text facing up. That also I like it because then when you have it uh, face down on the table it's a, a smooth even surface at the bottom of the base. So. We'll go through that same process here. We'll mix the two parts of the plastic. Uh, the one that I like to use here is Alumalite, and it uh, the they have a couple of varieties. The one that I'm used to using gives you about five minutes to seven minutes to actually do the motions that you need to with the plastic as it's setting up. Uh, this I was accidentally uh, <laughs> I've got about two minutes maybe or about still feels like a lot less but this is the, the fastest uh, setting one that they have so you can see that um, I've got a little bit of plastic too in this one so I'm gonna take a miniature that was broken and I'm going to uh, just reaffix the arms and actually the miniature I have the cases and they stand when I'm when I'm taking them to D&D this caster um, was actually crushed by the case because they were laying down, somebody stood the mini up, closed the case on top of it, it was too tall, arms broke off. So this time we're going to take the casting arms and we're going to lay them across instead of straight up in the air. So this actually will fit in the case better uh, the way that we're gluing it. So we've got that other one set up. Uh, once it's set here we'll pop it out. 
I'll show you the, there's the new angle on the caster there. Looking good. So I may go back in at a later time and fill in that shoulder if I'm worried about uh, it breaking again. So there's the second mini. It looks the same as the first mini. I know I promise it's different footage of the second mini. Uh, but yeah, we'll take uh, our little sprue snips and we'll cut out some of that sharp areas and we'll get them on the spinner and give you a look. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like what we do, you can support us by liking and subscribing. You can support us on Patreon. We appreciate it. We can't do it without you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Internet.